burning question, Matthew, is why did it dry up in that last quarter? Why did it come so difficult to get into your full 50? Yeah. Well, in the end, we probably had we probably had enough opportunity in the end. Um, oh, I thought I thought our oppo ramped up their pressure um, substantially, which good sides do. And we probably didn't go with that. Not probably. We didn't. We weren't able to match that. Um, in saying that, though, we we had our chances and didn't execute. But um, disappointingly, we you know we don't come away with the result we're after. Um, after three quarters of sort of grinding it out and having the game on our terms, we uh, we have to, I guess, give credit where it's due. They were better than us in the last, and that that's what counted. So unlike Adelaide, though, because you've made your trademark to fight so hard for that sort of style of footy. Yeah, I, um, yeah, it's, I'd say it's not it's not us. We we do we we fight out games. I, I'm I'm not saying we didn't fight today. I thought we we were fighting in the last. We were giving everything. Now, is there some fatigue there? You know, at the moment, possibly. But, you know, we're we are a young group. We. Every team's fatigued, I understand that. Um, we understand that, and you've got to be able to grind and push through that, but do we have some fatigue there? I, no doubt. I, don't, I didn't think today was, was our best you know, in that last. More so when you look at our execution with the ball, you know, with the way we use the footy and our inability just to, to do the basic, which has been our strength all year. We weren't able to do that. And, um, that was the most disappointing part. Well, in the end, I th what is it? It's three points, and we, we go inside 50 with a chance to hit the lead again and find a way not to score. We had a couple, another probably two after that, which we didn't score on as well. But again, they're not. It, it's bigger than that. Um, I think our opposition took their game to another level, which was was higher than ours. I'm not saying that we were really poor, but it was it was a long way from our best, a long way which is the most disappointing part. I think that's where the you know, majority of people who were here today were so disappointed because we'd done it for three quarters up to that point. What about area land? It felt like you were on yeah. top of them. Really struggling to take a mark in that second half, particularly coming yeah. down there, obviously, having to gain territory from them. Yeah, it hurts when you're going forward and, and aerially being dominated. And I thought the first, first quarter was, was on our terms. Um, our forwards are doing a great job in that space. And then that turned as the game... Kept going. I think second half they just dominated us in that area. Uh, you know, intercept marks. It, it's it's hard when you're trying to you're pushing forward. You want to play front of centre, and you just you're not able to do it. Where they control the game, you spend time back in your back half, and you, you, you're using a lot of energy trying to bring the ball out against a team that were up and about and bringing pressure. So, um, yeah, not ideal for us. How do you counsel Josh Rochelle at the moment? Sort of yeah. Coaching. Josh is such a competitor that he's frustrated that you know there are things that aren't necessarily going his way. Um, we had we had a brief chat. He was he gathered himself quite well at half time. He was yeah you know, he could look me in the eye and, and say, oh, "Look, I'm I'm good. I'm ready to go." Um, the team was going well at that point, so he's just now going to knuckle down and enjoy that part of it. Um, you know that the team's playing well. It might be that it's not necessarily going for him. I think he he took a couple of big hits and that frustrated him as well. So um, it's all part of that process for these young guys. Some some of it stands out more than others. Some moments stand out more than others. Tonight was one of those that just stood out. So everyone's talking about it. But but young young players go through so many challenges. He'll he'll keep working. I love that he's competitive. Sometimes it it can cost you. So you've got a sample side that's. Yeah. Which is that tempting you to say, yeah, there are some young players who do need a break now and do have options to change this side around? Yeah, well, that's the most pleasing part about the squad. We talk about the squad all year. <clears throat> you know, with if you do, you know, Saligo, we, we um, you know, Solly went out of the team for, for form reasons um, or inconsistency of form and probably a little bit of fatigue in amongst that. There was a bit of mental and physical. So we'll keep looking at that. Um, we've had some young guys who've been outstanding this year that uh, I think it's pretty obvious are starting to grind through games um, and we'll have to balance that 
but it is pleasing to have some ready to come in that are playing great footy. They had a great win today over Glenelg and um, you know, a lot of guys put their hand up to say, look, I'm ready if, if I'm needed. A couple of banged up boys in there at the moment. Shooting Rory there, top one AC and maybe Murphy in that last quarter as well. Lead came off, back on and fourth out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Murph's, Murph's fine and Letty's, um, Letty's OK, um, but he took a knock, I think a, a bit sore through the AC joint, so um, that'll be a monitor and see how he pulls up. But again, he came back out and was able to sort of finish the game. I thought he battled all day for us today. Um, but yeah, we'll keep a close eye on that one. Yeah, no, we, I, I saw the team we thought we'd see. Unfortunately, they were too good for that last quarter. We, we, we knew we were up against it. This is a team that's now, they've won the last five. So we knew coming in that we were up against it, that we had a team coming in in great form. Um, you know, a coach that's doing really good stuff with them and it's, it takes some time for that. They're obviously on board with that at the moment. And so we knew it was going to be a big, big challenge for us. And we were confident we were up to that. Um, I'd say for majority of tonight, we were. Um, but there was no surprises there. Um, you know, some some high quality players that that um, stepped up when they needed to. You feel like the defence for the most part held up quite well. Yeah, well, up until the last, we you know I thought Murray was was really strong tonight. Um, you know, you talk about the aerial part of the game. I thought he was, you know, one that really stood up for us behind the ball. It was was strong intercept marking. There were a number of spoils where he was big in the air. Um, I thought Chase Jones also, again, just continues to show his development and he keeps going to another level, which was really pleasing. He's, he looks powerful at the moment. He's using his speed and, and confident in his own ability. So some real positives from that, some individuals. But I, I think we're, you know, we're, that one really hurt. That one really hurt um, tonight. Yeah, and Sloaney will sit there and smile and, you know, that's the character that he is. It's it's not about him. Um, it's an amazing milestone and what he's done. And you just have to go back and watch his highlights tape to see, you know, what sort of player he is on the field. But he's in there now, in amongst his teammates and, you know, you'd, you'd think we won the game. He's just, he understands the bigger picture of it all. Um, he's an outstanding leader and we're, I think the boys are pretty pretty gutted that we weren't able to get it done for him but um, yeah we'll, we'll fight back you and others obviously we've been referring to this stretch or the rest of the games as eight, eight point games there's obviously still a long way to go but what does this do to the context of the season, do you think? I, well still I mean with the results that are coming through there's, there's chances from 5th to 15th still and we're in the fight you know, so we've we've sort of got to lick our wounds as we've done previously a number of times, and and we go and play Melbourne at the MCG, <laughs> and it just keeps coming. But that's why the competition's so exciting, is because there's so many teams fighting for it. And we we had one today, which is an eight point game. We gave we gave it up, so we, we're going to have to snap back into gear and travel down to the MCG again, which we really enjoyed playing at last time against Collingwood, and we we'll take on. One of the top four. So what advice would you give us when we go on the famous ladder predictor and every time we look at it an away game for Adelaide, there's sort of that alarm that says, well, <laughs> they don't have great form on the road. We're due, aren't we, Roach? Is that how you say it? We're due. We, look, we'll continue to fight. We'll continue to work. I, our, we'll go with some real confidence down to the MCG. We played it really well last time. It took us a, probably took us a half a footy to get used to it. Um, in that game, again, we weren't consistent enough. That was what it was. It wasn't that we, we didn't play some good footy. In fact, that, that was a great game of footy. So we know we can deliver on it. Can we do it for four quarters, which we'll have to do against Melbourne to get a result? But, you know, we don't get that result and we lose it by a point. It's looked at as a bad, bad game. We'll, we'll be doing everything we can to get over the line in that one.